Hello everybody, it's October 2016, this is Steve. Uh, this is my fourth KW station. I've got a KW2000A, a KW Atlanta, and a KW Vespa with its partner receiver, the KW201. This KW2000B, uh, eBay purchase, uh, but I checked carefully and I've waited a long time to get a B in good condition. Uh, this one was owned by a lab, we think. It didn't work when I got it four days ago because the headphone socket had broken and disconnected the speaker. Cleaned it up, cleaned the relays, done a little bit of realignment. Uh, the bezel was badly marked. This is a temporary bezel from another radio. I've got to repaint the bezel. And here it is on 40 metres. And works fine. Even the power supply works fine. I've checked it out. There's no uh, all the voltages are pretty good, and uh, it's pretty sensitive on the low bands. And a very elegant looking radio indeed, and pretty sensitive. This is 40 meters during the middle of the day in October. It's pretty lively. <coughs> so uh, now uh, I've got four KW stations. <laughs> this one we think was made in 1968 or 69. Uh, I'll have to check the date code. And uh, it'll be operating on the KW day early in 2017 in January. Uh, for the 61st anniversary of the company and I'll also be using my KW Atlanta which is a really uh, really mad transceiver so there you go the KW 2000 uh, B probably the best-selling KW product they ever made uh, in Dartford and audio quality sounds good. Not many videos of the KW2000B on the internet, which is a bit odd considering how popular uh, uh, how popular it was. So um, I'll probably post one or two more. Bye, everybody.